75 years ago this Tuesday, the Triangle Shirtwaist Company, east of Washington Square Park in New York City, went up in flames, killing 146 workers and sparking a nationwide crusade for safer working conditions. This was the title of the article that came out in 1986 on March 25th. The paper was published by the New York Times. The impact of the inadequate safety measures that caused the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire had an influential transformation in labor laws and protected workers' health. The fire happened on March 25th of 1911. Floors 9 and 10 were occupied by the shirtwaist factory. The employees worked 13 hours a day for $6 a week. Many of them spoke no English as they were from parts of Europe like Russia and Italy. The conditions were terrible. The employees had to supply their own needles, thread, irons, and even sewing machines. The fire was on the 8th, 9th, and 10th floors of the building. One of the biggest causes of death was the doors being locked on the outside. The factory owners claimed the reason was to prevent theft. The workers were allowed no bathroom breaks because leaving meant slowing down production. 120 layers of fabric all stacked in one bin was accidentally sparked by a cigarette and caused this 18 minute long fire. When fleeing the fire, the fire escape bent and broke under their feet. To make matters even worse, the fire ladders only reached the sixth floor, leaving the firemen helpless against rescuing the trapped workers. The elevator operators made 20 trips, but it was still not enough. They then had no other choice but to jump out of the windows. This event had a large impact on the citizens of New York City. During the funeral procession, 350,000 people attended. The factory owners, Max Blands and Isaac Harris were, were tried for manslaughter. They were found not guilty. To avoid lawsuits, Max and Isaac compensated each family of the victims $75. The factory owners were paid $400 by the insurance companies for the victims' deaths. There were over 25 laws passed which changed fire safety, building safety, and charged the state with worker safety. The laws were signed off by John Alden Dix, the New York governor at the time in 1912. More than 40 cities passed them during the 1912 to 1914 period. The laws included better plumbing and ventilation and buildings were remodeled. The state insured workers. States outlawed child labor and created minimum wage. Women would work less than 10 hours and minors would work less than eight. The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory convinced the nation to make sure environments were safe to work in. The Sullivan Huey Fire Prevention Law passed in October. This made factories install sprinklers along with establishing the New York City Fire Prevention Bureau. The Occupational Safety and Health Act passed. Their primary mission was to make sure that the employees would carry out their tasks under safe working conditions. The importance of the laws and reforms changed how society's workplaces went about safety. Nowadays, the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire proved how influential the changes in safety laws and protection of workers' health was assessed and addressed. The New York Times article says, Despite the 1970 creation of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, the passage of dozens of new laws and regulations on everything from mine safety to labeling of hazardous substances, thousands of workers still die on the job every year, and millions more are injured. The National Safety Council estimates that on-the-job accidents cost the nation $34.6 billion in 1985.